Hello friends, this video on Ray Optics Part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Light Reflection of light Spherical mirrors Refraction of light Total internal reflection Refraction at spherical surfaces Refraction by lenses Refraction through prism Dispersion of light and optical instruments which would include eye, microscope and telescope. So ray optics, what do you think we are going to study in this lesson? Okay, when we talk, when we hear this term optics, what comes to your mind? Optics, something related to optical instruments, right, which, which you often use. I mean, you use these terms in your day-to-day -day life, right? Optical instruments reminds you of your glasses, spectacles, right? So that means we are going to study about certain phenomenon related to light. We have already spoken about electromagnetic waves, right? Electromagnetic spectrum, where we have talked about light as such. I mean, we have seen what is light, what is light composed of. So, how is light an electromagnetic wave? So, uh, we have already had that introduction of light when we studied the lesson on electromagnetic waves. So, in this lesson, our target is to study certain phenomenon of light. So, we will study about some of the phenomenon, right? For example, reflection of light, refraction of light. So, I mean, right now, I mean, these terms are not very new to you. You would have studied about reflection and refraction in your junior classes, maybe in class 9th or class 10th. So, I mean, this is not exactly new for you, but we will study these phenomenon again in a bit more details. We will also study about certain things or certain objects which enhance such properties of light, right? So now you will gradually see there are so many things which we are going to study in this lesson which you will gradually see as we proceed with the chapter. So our aim is here to study about certain important phenomenon related to light and also to see how do these phenomena actually help us in our day-to-day -day life? That is, we will relate this phenomenon with practical applications in life, right? So let us look at this introduction screen. What do we have here? Here, as always, that is the general trend, right? How we start a lesson. The introduction page will consist of certain things which we see around us and which is related to what we are going to study in this lesson. So what do you see here? Something dark, right? It looks like somebody is standing there. But when the light is switched on in the room, you can see, oh, there's a boy standing inside the room. So that means light is something which enables you to view objects. You are seeing so many beautiful things around you because of the reflection of light. Now, what is this reflection actually? We will study about that as we go ahead. So some similar applications which we use in our day-to-day -day life but we don't know how it actually works what is the physics behind it for example the mirrors which we use in our home not only the normal plain mirrors which are normally seen in your dressing tables but also your shaving mirrors they are different from your plain mirrors right when you come i mean when you come very close to the shaving mirror you can see your face very clearly and you can see an enlarged image of your of your face, right? The spectacles, I mean, most of you would have uh, seen a spectacle. Some of you have been, maybe you are using a spectacle. So they are all applications of what we are going to study in this lesson. The rear view mirror used in your cars, you'd have seen while you are on the driver's seat or while somebody is driving a car, there is a mirror on his right hand side. I mean, there is a rear back view mirror which enables you to see the traffic which is coming behind you, right? 
the telescope which enables you to see objects which are far away from you especially there are certain different types of telescopes which also help you to see the heavenly objects so this is also some of the telescopes are also used for scientific purposes for studies of astronomy and things like that the camera lens so even the lens the glasses this kind of lens mirrors they are all nothing but application of such phenomenon of light the microscope which enables us to see very small objects so basically these instruments like microscope telescopes they all consist of lenses right and what are these lenses these lenses are nothing but they are all applications of this reflection or refraction of light so so that's how we will study this lesson on we will start with light then we'll we'll talk about the different phenomena like reflection of light refraction of light then we will talk about mirrors we will talk about spherical mirrors what are they you'll come to know very soon then we'll talk about lenses then we'll talk about how refraction takes place through lenses then we'll also talk about prisms so there are there is a huge list which we will be talking about while we go ahead with this lesson so just be patient and let's now start with the lesson so the first screen talks about what is light nothing new because we have already talked about it before light is something which enables us to see objects so when we talked about electrum you remember the electromagnetic spectrum which we talked about which had so many different kind of light i mean waves gamma rays x rays ultraviolet and here is your visible light so in this lesson our focus is only on this visible region so this visible light is often known as light right so we in this entire lesson we are just focusing on this portion of the ultra of electromagnetic spectrum so light is an electromagnetic wave now what is an electromagnetic wave i don't think i need to explain that again because we have already had a detailed discussion on electromagnetic waves in our previous lesson so light travels along straight path these are some of the things which are just for review right because you already know all these things in your from your previous classes right so that light travels along a straight path speed of light is measurable and the speed of light in vacuum is always denoted by c and its magnitude is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so these are some of the facts about light which you already know and which are universal right now when i talk about light as i'll go ahead with the lesson you will see that most of the times i'll use such terms like a ray of light is coming in a ray of light is going out so what actually is a ray of light similarly you will also come across terminologies like a beam of light is falling on a piece of paper so what do you think what is a ray of light and how is it different from a beam of light is there any difference between a ray of light and a beam of light or both are the same because if if uh, literally you look at the meaning of a ray and a beam generally we think that both are same but actually here when i talk about a ray of light i am talking about the path of light wave traveling from one point to another let us suppose this is one point this is another point and this is my light wave so the path of the light wave from this point to this point so this is the path right so we say that this is a ray of light like because my light wave is somewhat like this let us assume so this light wave traveled from this point to this point so what is my ray of light so we say that this is my ray of light so the light ray of light is not the light actually light itself it basically shows that this is the path through which the light wave traveled right so this is my ray of light now what is a beam of light then beam of light is nothing but a bunch of rays of light that means when too many rays of light 
are traveling very closely, we see that this entire thing is a beam of light. Right? So if you look at this picture, what does this picture depict? It is depicting nothing but the sun, a beam of sun rays is falling on this tree. So here many rays together are forming a beam of light. So now you know the difference between a ray of light and a beam of light. So now you will see that as we go ahead with the lesson, most of the time I will be saying that, okay, so a, a ray of light is incident on a surface or a ray of light is falling on this boundary. So when I say a ray of light, I will often draw a straight line. That doesn't mean that light wave has now become straight. Because you have seen in the lesson on electromagnetic waves that waves means the wavy thing which I have shown here. So this is how the light wave is actually traveling. But whenever I, I look at, I will look at things like reflection, refraction and all, instead of drawing this wave, I will always consider the ray of light. So, which will make my diagram neat, easy to understand and at the same time, it will make it less complicated, right? So, now you know what is a ray of light, no confusion, difference between a ray of light and a beam of light, right? Okay. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.